Hey guys, how's it hanging? It's your boy Zelda Naruto Fan One here. Now, today I thought I'd show you guys how to build or construct a fire. In case you guys haven't had the privilege that I have to have somebody teach you how to make one, whether it's a parent or a peer or a friend. I know not everybody has had that opportunity, so I thought I would do that today for you guys in case you ever get lost, stranded, or like the world happen to come or happens to come to an end. So, with that being said, the first things you want to generally find will be some good kindling. So, like, dry grass or leaves, the light, or the more light, tan color with the grass, and the more dead it is, the better, because it'll burn easier. And then, same with the leaves, the, like, more dry it is and all that, the better. You can also use things like paper, which I'll use some of that, too. And then, you want to make sure you got sticks and twigs for the fire um, you want to start off with like little ones and then work your way up to bigger ones and logs if you can find them but so like generally you want to start off with putting your brush in a pile or not brush sorry kindling <laughs> So with paper, you kind of want to crumple it up too. So then it burns quicker and it's more dense. Then with the sticks or twigs, you want to have structure going of some sorts. And Boy Scouts, as far as I can remember, they teach you to build a teepee around your kindling doesn't necessarily need to be like that um, but as long as it's not like completely smothering the fire you're generally pretty good And if you ever got any wind blowing or anything, a good tip would be to have the biggest opening of the fire facing against the current that's blowing. So that way, when the wind blows through that big opening, it's pushing more oxygen through the fire and giving it more fuel to burn. So it'll burn better and you have to do less work. All right, and generally you don't want to like cover it too, too much. Um, Cause like, you might suffocate it or you will have it to where there's not enough like air going around it. Cause if you cover it too much and don't leave any gaps really, you're just gonna smother the fire and the fire needs oxygen to breathe. So, and to burn. The things you can use to start a fire too would be a lighter, or in the case of what I'm gonna use to show you guys today, be a flint rod, or like flint and steel. So with flint and steel, you want to have it pointing downward 
at the fire towards the kindling. And then you want to put the knife down at a 45 degree angle or just like at a good angle in general, as long as it's not completely flat generally, that's generally gonna work a lot better um, in the case of flint. I'll show you guys in one of my videos or if you want, I'll show you guys in one of my videos when I go camping on how to find flint out in the wild. And then like generally what you can use to strike that flint with to help it uh, spark so you can get a good fire going. But just want to go at it so you get a good spark going and catches flame. Like so. And kind of build around it. So I set the build or uh, burn. And voila, you got yourself a fire. Now, I do hope that you guys enjoyed this today and that you found it educational and helpful. That was my goal. Um, I really did enjoy making this video for you guys. I do hope you guys enjoyed this though. If you did, feel free to like, share, comment, and or subscribe. And with that being said, if you'd like me to do more videos like this, feel free to leave a comment on my page or on the video comments down below. So I hope you guys have a good rest of the day and take care of my peace. Or take care and peace, my dudes. <laughs>